feel the discipline on today though. I think today's been really successful and it's been fantastic to see so many best leaders here today. We had around um, 350 people here this morning and slightly more this afternoon so we think we've had around 850 leaders and managers through the door today. Yeah. Um, that's a fantastic amount of people but we still do have a number of best leaders who haven't been able to add the office, who can't leave the office because of service limit pressures. Yeah. And what we're really keen to do is make sure that all of the learning and all of the, the sharing of ideas from today, that those best leaders also have access to that. Uh -huh. So what, if, you're, if you're watching this as a best leader, what you can do is you can get in contact with your directorate programme team and all of the details are either on the website or on in line or you can just um, phone um, the numbers in one of your best leader packs and speak to them. Yeah. And we're going to be sending out to all of the best leaders all of the feedback um, from today from the talking from the diary room which we'll be able to watch um, and copies of the speeches and what, what have been said. Yeah. And of course best leaders themselves can apply for Dragon's Den yeah. um, if they wish to. There's an adults and community specific Dragon's Den in October which I know a number of best leaders today have said that they want to be part of mm -hmm. and they're preparing their bids. Yeah. Um, so but if you don't feel like doing that or if there's no opportunity um, you can get in contact with your team and say we've had a success story, here's the difference that we've made and we'll hopefully put out um, a summary in, in a voice and through some of the, the other communications channels that we can as well. And also if you just want if you want to talk to any of us and say, well what happened, what were the key elements of the day, what did I miss, then please give us a ring. We're more than happy to talk in the room with you um, and to talk it through with any of your colleagues as well. So there's lots of opportunity that people who haven't been here today can still find out what's happened. And for those leaders that couldn't be here, could you sort of sum up what the general feeling was today, what sort of reactions you've had and what were the main key points if they were going to ask that? Yeah, I think um, some of the key points from today have been that um, communication is improving within Birmingham City Council. We're a huge organisation, 60,000 staff. We have around 1,500 to 1,800 best leaders um, and they change and we have different best leaders every year which is brilliant because lots of different people have experience of being a best leader and sort of taking their team through a facilitated workshop. I think people are very keen that the essence of best and the focus on improvements and very small team improvements that are making a big difference isn't lost in the wider drive for efficiencies and drive for a more lean organisation, obviously with the financial pressures that we've got as an organisation. So we need to hold those in one hand, those financial pressures, but also not lose the small stuff, which is often the big stuff. So things that people are doing together as a team that make them feel committed and motivated to Birmingham City Council as an employer. And I think from some of the, uh, the people that have spoken today, some of our speakers, so Councillor Alan Rudge and Andy Alban, and also from some of the Dragons, so Jason Lauder as co, and a clear message from the Chief Executive is that our staff being committed to Birmingham City Council is our biggest resource. And that's where our productivity comes in. People yeah. are more productive as a result of the best programme. Um, and so we don't want those elements of staff commitment and motivation to be lost in the wider drive for financial efficiencies and pressures. Yeah. What can you see coming from the best programme in the future? Um, I think from 2010 onwards, um, we don't need to communicate and tell people what best is all about. Now. Yeah. People know it's about belief, excellence, success and trust. And it's about working together as a team to improve the service that we deliver. So what we need to focus on is when efficiencies or when improvements in service delivery have been made in one part of the organisation, making sure that other areas of the organisation, so say for example if adults and communities team have a brilliant idea that could be applied across lots of other teams and say tens of thousands of pounds, that the people in other directorates and maybe constituencies have got access to that information, to that team success story, to be able to learn from each other. So we don't need to go out and run expensive pilots or you know, get external experts in to help us because all of our knowledge and our expertise is here already. So it's some of that sort of cross-director and cross-team communication, so that sort of joint working together, I guess, across the whole of the organisation, working a lot smarter. Yeah.